Hello everyone. Constecnos Forum welcomes all you construction technocrats. Our topic today is design of vertical curves for railway or highway alignment. Gradients are unavoidable in highways as well as in railways. And whenever there is a change in gradients, a vertical curve is formed. the upward gradients are written as positive gradients while the downward gradients are considered as negative gradients and depending upon the change in gradients the curve can be either a summit curve or it can be a valley curve if the algebraic difference between two gradients is greater than 0 then the curve will be a summit curve and when it is less than 0 the curve will be a valley curve length of the vertical curve depends upon the algebraic difference between the two gradients is calculated by using this equation l is equal to r into q where r is the radius of the vertical curve and q is algebraic difference between the two gradients now this value of r depends upon the gauge of the track indian railway suggests that no vertical curve is required if the algebraic difference between two gradients is less than or equal to 0.4% beyond that you need a vertical curve and the radius of the curve for broad gauge line of group a b and c d e is specified as 4000 meter 3000 meter and 2500 meter these are the minimum radius we provided on vertical curve for bg lines now if you take an example that a rising gradient of 1 in 100 meets a falling gradient of 1 in 200 so q is now 1.5 radius of the curve is 4000 meter let us say it is group a line in that case this l will be 1.5 into 4000 divided by 100 that is 60 meter this equation does not differentiate between a summit curve and valley curve it is same for both now once you get the length of the vertical curve the next step would be setting of the vertical curve let us say ab a vertical curve and this is the apex point e and this is the point on the curve let us say f and it will join these two ends that is the point here you can call it as g now setting of the vertical curve basically means determine the rls of different point on this vertical curve and there are two method of doing that one is tangent correction method and another is chord deflection method here we are using the chord deflection method in the chord deflection method what we do you find the rl of these points c and d on the chord and then you find out the chord deflection on cco and ddo so that from chord points you move to the points on the curve and this is x this is the length of the curve l this offset is calculated using this equation at any distance x you can find out what is the offset from the chord so that you get a point on the vertical curve but i have an easier and faster solution to calculate the rl of your vertical alignment at regular intervals 
without bothering about calculating the vertical curves here i am presenting a software which is designed in visual basic for excel to solve this problem the best thing about this software is that it is very easy to operate even a beginner level user of excel can operate it and of course it is almost free so let us see how this software works and how to operate it For easier understanding, let us take a, a small section example, which is something like this. Now we will see to achieve RL along this alignment with proper curve fitting, what input need to be provided to the computer and how the computer works to solve these issues. First, we go to the sheet named sample sheet. This sheet is a sample of the output result for vertical alignment. And on the right side of this sheet, it says to run the program either tap the keys combination of Ctrl Shift plus V or click here. So I click here and the computer asks name of worksheet where you want to take the output result. So I am going to type vertical alignment here. Since a sheet name vertical alignment does not yet exist, the computer asks for permission to create it. So I am giving him permission by clicking yes. You can see that the sheet named vertical curve has been created and the computer is asking the row number from where your output will start. The row number can be anything other than 1 as row 1 is reserved for the column heading. I am entering 2 here and the computer once again asks for the row number to confirm if your entry is correct or not. If you think the entry is wrong, you have a chance to correct it here or if it is correct, just click on OK. Now the chain is in kilometer of the starting point which is 100 in our example. Chord length say 10 meter, profile type enter 1 for straight alignment and 2 for curve unless you are sure that vertical curve is not required it is always better to choose option 2 so i am choosing option 2 here now how much is your first gradient it is plus 1 percent here and second gradient is 3 percent here Now the computer is asking for FRL at a starting channels of 100 km. It is 45.5. And the radius of curve. Railway guideline for minimum radius are given here for your ready reference. I am selecting 4000 meter for group A line. Chains of PVI next to PVI at 100, which is 100.5 here. Now the computer shows the details of the vertical curve before printing the complete output. Click OK and you will get the output from the starting point that is kilometer 100 to the end of the curve which is at kilometer 100.58.
Now the next part of the section will start from the same point where the previous part left off. Hence the starting point will be 100.58, chord will be the same as 10 meter and profile type as 2. Now the first gradient will be minus 3 which was the second gradient in the previous part. Second gradient is plus 2 here. FRL at 100.5 is 48.1 radius 4000 meter genus of next PBI is 100.75 kilometer Now this is the curve detail at PBI 100.75. Similarly, input for the next part. Here the computer is informing that since the change in gradient is less than or equal to 0.4 percent no vertical curve is required as per railway guidelines so enter the changes of next pvi which is 101 frl 45 grade 2 similarly Input for the next part. Now all the parts of our section are complete, so press escape key to exit the program. Click on yes. That's all. Now we have a complete calculation of vertical alignment. See you soon with another topic. Till then, goodbye, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.